Hi everyone, uh, Craig James, the founder of the International Screenwriters Association, or the ISA. Uh, today, we want to talk about um, getting an agent or a manager. That is the question that I think the entire ISA team gets asked on a regular basis. How do I get an agent or a manager? And normally what would happen with like a video like this is that you ask the question, this is what I learned on a YouTube thing that I saw the other day. You ask the question, you let them know, the audience, what you're going to tease them with, and then you cue the motorcycle, and then at the very end, after you've talked for 20 minutes, you tell them how to get an agent or manager. But I am going to skip right past all that and just tell you how you get an agent or manager right now. You don't. The reason you don't is because you don't want to get an agent or manager. You want an agent or a manager to get you. That's the key. And how do you get them to get you? You write a great screenplay. Now you're probably already saying to yourself, well, I've written a great screenplay, that's why I need an agent or a manager. But here's the test. If you haven't won competitions, if you're not getting recommendations from consultants or through an online service that does a reader evaluation, if you're not getting, uh, even the people in your writer's group are not raving if, and saying, you're, you're so far beyond my this group. You know, if you're not being invited into master classes or um, consultants that you work with are not saying, listen, I need to pass this on to my friend. If you're not getting any of that, then your script's not ready. And that's not a bad thing. This is just something to know. This is good information to know. You know that if you're not winning competitions, if you're not placing in the top 100, if you're not getting then into the top 10, then your script really isn't agent, manager, or producer ready. And you want it to be agent, manager, or producer ready before you pitch to an agent, manager, or producer because your pitch may be ready, but is the script ready? And if it's not, then you're going to end up wasting an agent's time, manager's time, whomever, any industry pro, and then you've blown that relationship. Because if you're a great person for pitching, then maybe you should be a producer. That's not very encouraging, is it? But there's, hey, maybe you are a great producer, and that's fantastic. That's a skill set you need to have regardless. So being great at pitching is fantastic. Selling your, yourself, selling your script is fantastic. But then you need to deliver a great script. And you can use the, um, use the uh, industry to help you know if your script is ready. Because if your script is not winning contests, winning, or in the top 10 bare minimum, then your script is not ready. So I had a friend who wrote this screenplay um, and she placed, she submitted to a major screenplay competition and made the top 100 on her first, very first screenplay, right? But then after that, it never got any more play. And I realized why that was. It's because her very first screenplay came from her heart. It was the most authentic thing she'd ever sat down and write because it was so honest and truthful. And the readers who read it loved that. They did. It was like, this is a story that even if, even though it wasn't the most well-written story in the end, um, it just made me feel something. And that's obviously a great step forward. But is the script ready to be produced? Is it ready for an agent or a manager to get it out there? It wasn't. It never went any further than that one time in the top 100. So. Um, the goal for you should be is to use the industry to help you figure out if your script is really ready, then get the notes to make sure that you improve it. Make sure that you're doing everything possible to get your script to the place where it's absolutely positively ready. And there's all sorts of places you can do that. You can do it through, I've mentioned it in the contest strategy on one of these YouTube videos, you find it down here somewhere or whatever. Um, but if you look on the ISA site and Pro Tips and Tricks, you'll find it there for sure look and find and watch that contest strategy uh, or submit to the development evaluation or submit for a, de a development evaluation or find another organization or company that you know you can trust and i don't mean just a friend or a family member and i certainly um, it could be a writer's group to start but what you really want to do is get somebody who doesn't know anything about you like nothing about you um, when people read my work that are friends of mine when they're reading my work, they immediately are thinking uh, Craig's writing the main character from himself or Craig's writing this supporting character and it's I can see a little bit of him in that character or even, oh my God, I know his mother and his mother is his mother in the script. You don't want any of that. You don't because 
those little voices in their heads are ruining their real authentic perspective, like their pure enjoyment of the material. You want somebody to look at your material and know nothing about you, right? They can know the log line, they can know the general story, but a clean slate completely. I mean, have you ever gone to a movie and been told what to expect and then the movie's not as fun? but then you've gone to a movie that, that later you find out that everybody criticized, but you went in so clean and so pure that you just enjoyed the experience. It didn't have to be a great movie, but you just enjoyed it because you didn't have any preconceived notions of what the story was about. You didn't know who the writer was. You didn't know really much about the criticism of the story. You just went in and enjoyed that story and that film. And it became your, your guilty pleasure like Armageddon is for me, right? I mean, it's a bad movie, but it's one of my guilty pleasures. If it's on, I'm going to sit there and eat my lunch and I'm going to watch Armageddon. I don't know. I, I think people have a Love Actually. That's another one. It's a good movie. Notting Hill. I know. I'm, I'm, it's Armageddon or it's uh, romantic comedies. But anyway, um, so now going back to the agent or manager thing. Do you want an agent or a manager to know they're going to hit a home run with your script? Or do you want to pitch an agent or a manager and blow an opportunity when you send them the script and it's not really ready? I think the answer is pretty clear. You want to make sure that your script is 100% ready, or it doesn't have to be 100% ready. Just get it over the 95% marker, that it's 95% ready. Because honestly, 95% of the screenplays that go through uh, the ISA, through all screenplay competitions, are not even, they're not ready. They're not. And if you can get into that 5%, then you've got something interesting and you've uh, possibly got something sellable, um, maybe just needs a little tweak here or there, and then it'll be ready to go. But from there, um, you could be, an agent or manager will work with you. If, if you're 95, you're at that 95% marker, and, you're, and, and you'll know that if you're winning contests, placing in contests, getting into the top 10. Um, but if you're not, if you're just making quarterfinalists, and you're getting a lot of quarterfinalists, then your script isn't ready. You know, so so spend the time. Now, I'm not saying that there's that it, it, it won't necessarily um, advance or a producer or an agent might not get excited about it, but I'm saying don't risk it. Spend the time and invest in yourself, invest in your career, invest in your work and get it read by people who will really help you uh, get in front of an agent or manager, champion your work, like the development slate. So if you get on the ISA development slate, We'll champion your work for you, right? We will be your uh, champion. We will um, get, at Felicity and Max will get your work in front of industry pros. We've had this happen uh, numerous times in the past few months where uh, writers have gotten into the development slate and then we spoke to an agent or a manager or a producer and because we referred you, they were willing to listen and they also saw the possibilities of the screenplay because we know where it's at. We're at the 95% mark. We know that this script is ready to go. Maybe it needs a few more tweaks. Maybe somewhere down the road, it's it's not necessarily perfect for this producer, um, this one producer, because they need certain elements to fit into it. But then, because you're a good enough writer, that they'll they'll take a chance on you, and they'll say, well, that can you rewrite the script to fit these little elements that we need? But if you're not at that 95% point, and it's like the script is just kind of okay, and it's got the right idea, but it's not really there, which is generally what happens. Okay, we see a lot of that. We see a lot of screenplays that come through that are just like, oh, it's a good idea. It's just not really shaped. It's not, it's not formed perfectly. And it hasn't, you know, obviously the writer isn't as seasoned as they, they could be. But if you work with a, uh, a mentor, if you work with uh, a consultant, if you uh, get great notes, like through our development evaluations, spend some time really crafting the, the project and then submitting the contests and to other organizations that will um, give you back either a pass or a recommend. When you start getting lots of recommends, then you're ready to go to an agent or a manager. That's what you want. And the thing is, I think, I think a lot of writers get discouraged. Um, because they send out a query letter, they send, they meet an agent or a manager at a networking event, or it, just at, at in wherever. It doesn't matter where you meet them, but you meet them, you have a great conversation, you become buddies, and you pitch them your idea, and they're like, "That's really great. That sounds kick-ass. Can you send me the script?" And then you send the script, and then what happens? Crickets, right? You don't hear from them for uh, 
three weeks, so you send another email and you don't hear from them again. Now, maybe that agent or manager is busy, that's possible, um, but it's likely that the enthusiasm they felt for the script when, they were, when you were pitching it is not the enthusiasm they had when they started reading it. And you need to get it, to, you need it to be that way. And you'll know if they're not returning your calls, if they're not following up, because if they're still excited about the idea, they will. They will follow up with you. Every agent and manager, we all know how hard it is to write a great screenplay. So when they have an idea that's really kick-ass and they're excited about it, they're going to read that first 10 pages. They're going to have somebody on their team read that first 10, 20 pages. And if it gets them excited, then it will go back to the agent or manager and it will get read. And then if, if they can hit a home run with it, if they're confident that they can hit a home run, they're going to go out there. But no agent or manager wants to go out there without knowing they can hit a home run, right? Or at least get on base at least get some excitement about the script. You may, you may be saying that your screenplay uh, has actually won some competitions, right? And actually has placed in uh, some competitions, you have gotten some recommends, and you're still not able to get an agent or a manager. Um, well, there are other ways to break into the industry, and our development slate is one of them. You can submit to the development slate, uh, get a development evaluation, and if you rate high enough, then that screenplay will get um, passed on to Felicity and Max, and if they love it and they feel like we can shop it around, we'll act as your agent or manager until we get you an agent or manager, and we don't take anything for that. It's just a service that we offer for great screenplays that we find. And we may find that if you're an ISA Connect member, you can post your success stories. So let's say you won 10 competitions, like, or even just placed in 10 competitions, even small ones. We, I've mentioned this story before, but we have a writer who posted on our success stories page, the I Say Spotlight, and they said that he had said that he won 17 small competitions. 17! And he, uh, so Max was reading through all the success stories on our Spotlight page, which is what Felicity does now, and when she, if she were to read a great success story, she's going to reach out to you. Max reached out to this guy. He loved the, the idea of the story, but the writer was like, well, I'm giving up, I'm quitting. He's like, let me, let me just let me just submit it, Max said, I'll submit it out to a couple places and see what they say. Came back, and within a couple of weeks, he had a quarter of a million dollar, um, a $250,000 option. Now, they locked the money. 30 to $40 million budget is in place. That just happened about 45 days ago, and it's out to an Oscar-winning actor who now directs. And I'm not going to say anything more about it because we can't. But uh, there'll be press about this soon, and believe me, once as soon as we can announce it publicly, we will be announcing it. But this is somebody who submitted uh, their success stories on the ISA Connect uh, as an ISA Connect member. It's the only way you can create uh, post your success stories. Our team read it, found it, and got it out there. And now the guy's got a quarter of a million dollar option agreement on a thirty to forty million dollar budget with an Oscar-winning actress who is going to direct this film. So. Um, Anyway, that's incredible. And, and so your script may have won a bunch of little competitions and you still can't get an agent or manager. Your script may have placed in screenplay competitions. But the point is that if, and we can find you if you're an ISA Connect member and you post, if there's enough success churning, then we'll be, we'll, we may be interested enough to, to get you on to the slate and then give you some guidance. Okay, or you can just submit to the development evaluations Go to the Get Connected tab, submit on the submit for a development evaluation, and then if the script passes through those readers anyway, uh, uh, you'll go right to Felicity and Max, and they'll decide if you can get on the slate. Or bare minimum, you're going to get five pages of notes to get you just a little bit further, because that's all it needs. It needs to get a little bit further. Maybe you're not in the 95 percent. Maybe you're at the 87 percent, but you need to get over to the 95 percent. And with the little tweaks that our readers will give you, you may get up to the 95%. I've submitted to a bunch of competitions, a script that I've been working on called Dream State, that um, it, all the notes that came back from the same draft said uh, it, was, it was great all the way to the ending, the ending just didn't pay off, right? Everybody said that. And so what's my, what do I have to do? I have to fix that. Maybe you've placed or won competitions and um, I got quarterfinals at Blue Cat, but it's not enough. I want to win Blue Cat. 
and I want you to win Blue Cat, and I want you to get on the development slate. Make sure that your script is something that they can hit a home run with. Because again, they don't want to go out to uh, their contacts and not absolutely deliver a sale, right? They want to get your script sold. Everybody's busy. All the agents and managers in this, in this town are busy. The beautiful thing is there's so much new con or so much need for new content that that opens the door for you. So even if you do have the next Brokeback Mountain, even if you have written an incredible script and it's winning awards, but you're just not finding an agent or manager, don't be discouraged. There's ways to get in, and you need to post on the ISA, uh, connect, become an ISA Connect member, post your success stories, tag all your awards, and, and our team will eventually get to reading all of that and see where you're at, and maybe you'll be invited into the development slate. And then we'll act as an agent or a manager for you until we get you an agent or manager. And we don't take anything to do that. We do it because we want to help writers. So if your script is good enough, if you are competent, like you are, you've placed, you've won, you've gotten huge recommends from people, and you know this script is ready, it's the next Sh uh, Schindler's List or Shawshank, and maybe just it just hasn't found its time in the market, then you go ahead and you uh, you post on the in ISA Connect and you post your success stories and tag all your awards, and then you do whatever else you have to. You create a poster, you, you create pitches, you try to get a sizzle reel. My point is you gotta do everything you possibly can to get your script out there. It, you can't just wait for an agent or a manager. And um, why would you wanna wait? You know, you, at bare minimum, you should be working on your other stuff, on your uh, new material, and you post on uh, ISA Connect, and ideally, if it's just a market situation, it'll eventually come around. But nine times out of ten, it really comes back to the fact that the script isn't really ready. So work on it, take the notes, um, keep developing, work with a mentor, hire the story farm and Max and his team, submit to development evaluations. Oh, if you submit to uh, get a development evaluation, it's $199, and that gets you um, five pages of incredible notes. And again, if your script's really ready, you could be passed on to Felicity and Max to, to read, and then you could get onto the development slate. And then, again, we'll act as an agent or manager and get you out there. Um, so if you're watching this video and you've made it all the way to the end here, uh, then you can get a discount. Yep, you can get a discount. We're gonna, <laughs> it's uh, $50 off, and it doesn't matter if you're a Connect member or just a new to the ISA or a basic member. Use the code YOUTUBE, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. Go to the Get Connected tab. You'll see Development Evaluation. And uh, submit to any of the Development Evaluation to get $50 off. So even if you're a Connect member, Connect members already get $50 off. They get an additional $50 off just for making it all the way to the end of this video. So a development evaluation of five pages of the best notes. Submit a new script and get great notes. Use it as a starting tool. For 99 bucks, where else are you going to find that? We have amazing readers, and they're going to give you incredible notes. And that's really what you want. You want somebody who doesn't know you giving you incredible notes so that you can get the truth about where your script is, and then you can work on it. But if you want to, really, if it's a new script, you could try that for, uh, at first. Or work with Max Tim and the Story Farm and get his team to give you weekly notes and craft the script with you and really teach you how to develop this story. Um, because let's say you have a great script that is out there, it is being shopped around by an agent or a manager. They're not necessarily going to read your next script. Um, they may consider it. Um, and uh, they may have one of their team read it, but they can't take on all of your screenplays while you're developing them. And a lot of them don't have time to really develop you. So you can use the ISA as a means to develop. You can use submitting the competitions as a means to develop. And so take the fact that you haven't been able to track down an agent or manager, or um, an agent or manager not returning your calls or responding to your emails, even though you gave them a great pitch at a pitch fest, uh, and use that information as a signpost that your script isn't ready and you need to go into development. You need to keep working on the craft. You need to make sure that the script is working. And you can use the ISA website to help you get further along. You can uh, hire Max Tim and his team at the Story Farm to help you along. And you know you can trust us. We're, we're helping writers get quarter of a million dollar deals. We're helping writers get agents and managers. We have another uh, big writer, who a new writer, who 
won our, or became our Fast Track Fellow uh, two years ago, and now he's got three different deals going on. One with a major actress is reading, an Oscar winning actress is reading the script. This is separate of the other one I was already speaking about. And he's got, uh, he just pitched to Ridley Scott's company. Because he became a Fast Track Fellow, got him on the development slate, he can now brag about that. So you take this in stride, you take it as steps. I've always used this analogy. It's one rung at a time up the ladder. We're here for that. We're here to encourage you. We're here to get you excited. We're here to help you believe in you. And we're also here to make sure that when things don't feel like they're going the right way, the market's working against you. No one wants to really rep you or take you on. There's a reason everybody's super busy. But you have to put in the time and the effort to make sure that you're getting the accolades, making sure that your script is honest, truly, really ready to get out there. Because if it's not, there's everybody's got a great idea. we got to get you to get your great idea on the page and into your script, and so that that script is polished and looks beautiful and is the best it can be, so that we can then help you get an agent or a manager. And that's the answer to the question. Even though I told you the answer at the beginning, I'm telling you again, you don't get an agent or manager right off the bat. You gotta, you gotta work at it, and you gotta follow these steps, and, and we'll help you. I wish you the best.